Okay, let's do a live repair. We have a PC that just arrived and when I turn the computer on, the client said they get a um, blue screen of death and it won't go any further. I can see the hard drive light is uh, red solid. I'm not going to stress the hard drive, and I suspect it may be a hard drive, so I'm going to power off the unit. Powered off, and we're going to go into BIOS. It has a WD brand hard drive. Alright, we're in the BIOS, let's have a look. 45 degrees. 4 gig RAM as you can see that's the hard drive in there WD10 EZEX I'm assuming that's a 1 terabyte and I've put in a I'm going to reboot the computer and boot into Ubuntu Ubuntu Linux to see if it will tell me anything about the hard drive and whether it has it's crashing or not, whether the smart can tell me something something important. Okay, so that looks like a DVD IHA WD. Yeah, one terabyte. I was right. Okay, let's um, reboot the computer and I'm pressing F12 to bring up the boot menu and my USB is in there try Ubuntu without installing let's have a look Alright, we're in uh, Ubuntu now. Let's have a look at the disks program. And smart status. Any information about smart? So there is 23 bad sectors. I think that's where the issue is. And I'm sure the files are okay. What I will do in this case is I will use dd command to clone this hard drive to another 1 terabyte hard drive. And then clone it back onto a, a SSD drive. <sighs> so it's dev SDA two. Okay, so now we cannot see how much data is actually in here, unfortunately. And now what we're going to do, we're going to shut the computer off. And if you can get your hands on Hiren, Hiren Boot CD or USB, boot into that. And I'll show you what you can do to look at the files. <sighs> so we're going to reboot the computer again. F12 again, boot menu. I've put in the higher end US USB. And we'll boot into Windows uh, XP. In, I'll show you now. Windows XP, this one here. And we'll use um, Disk Genius to have a look and see the contents of the hard drive. And I'm suspecting we should be able to see that. 
you can also go into Windows 7, so Windows 7 um, alternative method instead of the XP. It's up to you. Okay, and looks like I don't have a mouse working or a keyboard working. No, I'm not good. I'll try the front USBs. Okay, so Windows sev Windows XP did not work. Try Windows 7 in compatible mode. I'll show you that too. So reboot into Hiren. Windows Windows 7 alternative boot. We should get a mouse keyboard working now. That took a while, but we got it booting. And this is definitely a problem with the hard drive. So bring up HPCD boot menu and let's have a look at Disk Genius. And we might be able to browse the contents of the hard drive if it does respond. And if it does respond, even though the client has not gone ahead with a quotation, I quickly make a backup of the important files just in case. As the chance of the data recovery can be minimal and the hard drive can act really weird in a non fashionable manner. Even this is taking a while to load, it is normal. And the hard drive light is solid red. Definitely it's attempting to read the bad sectors. We need to be patient. Alright, so this is bad news. We are not able to see all the files. So we do see a folder called data files and there's nothing in there. I'm expecting to see a Windows folder, a Users folder, nothing there. So, what are we going to do? We're going to do um, DD option. So we're going to shut this computer down. And it's fully turned off. You don't really need to see this, but I'll show you anyway. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna pop the side open, install a one terabyte hard drive, and boot into Ubuntu, and attempt to clone the hard drive. So this is our faulty hard drive here. We're gonna use the optical drive connections temporarily. We've got a WD one terabyte here. We're just going to leave it in there for now. All right, Ubuntu. Come to the rescue. 
do your magic. All right, it's all plugged in. Power on. <coughs> F12. Let's go back to the screen. Obviously, we need internet because we need to download DD GDD Rescue command. Okay, now we're booting into Ubuntu. The hard drive light is still blinking. Probably you'll have um, error messages somewhere here about the hard drive. Okay. Yeah, you can see buffer input output error on dev stb2. Hmm. We're still waiting for it to boot. If you're wondering how I get to these screens, hold the Alt key and then F1 or F2, F3, etc. That's the GUI, F1. Err, this is not good. Okay, make sure you've got internet connection. Open up terminal. So, sudo um, add apt repository ppa mkusb and ppa. And we want to add the universe as well. And we want to see if we can get the GDD rescue command. So we got GDD Rescue, great, and just so we know what hard drive we're working with, make sure you get this very correct, you don't want to mess this up. So our source will be, in my case, will be SDB1. Notice the number of bad sectors has grown from 23 to 31, 
and this is our new hard drive so SDB is the faulty one SDA is the new one so what we're gonna do is DD uh, sudo DD rescue <coughs> the forward pass dev sdb to dev sda just make sure we get this correct um, terminal in the window dd rescue okay so in and out. So out is SDA. Yep. And the source is SDB. So we're doing the entire hard drive. Ports. Okay, that's fine. Alright, any other? And also, you want to create a log file, so log.txt. Mm -hmm. And maybe v for verbose, give us some information. All right, do your magic. So what you really want to see is this number increase. This is so far good. We haven't reached read area yet. So this will run most likely overnight. That's fine. As long as it works, I'm happy. You can see this is jumping quite uh, weird numbers. So 100 megabytes to 18 megabytes to 131 kilobytes. So definitely hard drive has big issues. Great, I'm happy with this result so far. We'll let this run. And we will see read, er read errors, bad sectors, that's okay. We can get it to do a reverse read later on. So this is a forward read now. It will do a backward read later on. All right, we'll leave this as is and we'll come back to it later and ensure that it does not go to sleep. Just ensure uh, power options. Blank screen off, automatic suspend is off. Okay, that's good. So we don't want it to shut down or sleep. Just close the monitor, that's okay. All right, hopefully this will finish and maybe I can update the video later on. Thanks for watching.